Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode four of Heart to Heart. My name is Ben Hartley, uh, hanging out here with Stone Story uh, and Six Figure Photography. Heart to Heart uh, exists to kind of answer your questions to offer my perspective, specifically for the photography industry. Right, Michael? It's like photographers, uh, could be portrait photographers, wedding photographers, all photographers, you guys ask questions, and then I'll offer my perspective on it. Look, originally we were thinking to do kind of random off the cuff questions, but now I've, I've been getting my inbox been blowing up with questions. So, f another little call to action here. If you guys have questions that you want answered, DM me on Instagram, jbenhartley, at jbenhartley on Instagram. DM me what questions uh, you would love to see uh, dedicated to, and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to answer it, right? Uh, either that or YouTube, uh, if you want to drop them down below in the comment section, it would mean the world to me. In the meantime, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Today's question comes off of YouTube. Uh, this comes from uh, John Bloomfield. He commented this. He said, question, um, how do you get your first couple of weddings? That's a good question, Michael. Like, how do you get your first couple of weddings? I mean, that's a doozy. You guys, let, the only way I can answer this is to tell you guys how I got my first couple of weddings, okay? So let's start from the beginning. Um, the reality with just about anything is when you begin, like you need experience, you need to test and you need to learn. And so you're not gonna get your first couple of weddings as like 5K weddings, 3K weddings, 2K weddings, 1K weddings even. If you do, God bless you, that's amazing. Um, but I think it starts with with putting yourself out there. And so um, step one is when you decide you wanna shoot weddings, you begin with your immediate list of followings. This means your friends, your family, uh, and your social media following. You, you let your family know that you you want to shoot a wedding, you let all your friends know that you want to shoot a wedding and you put it on blast. You're like, hi, my name's Ben Hartley and I want to go shoot a wedding. Anybody know anybody who's getting married and needs a photographer? Uh, and then you just own the fact that you've never shot one. Here's the biggest mistake you could make if you've never photographed a wedding. Trying to front and pretend like you're going to show up and provide the dopest thing ever uh, and, and, and you're probably not. I think you need, like, you for your own peace of mind and your own sake, you need to own the fact that you've never photographed a wedding. And and this is what I did. Uh, we had a good friend of ours, Leslie, my wife Leslie and I had a good friend of ours. They were looking for a photographer, and we just told them flat out, we're like, hey, look, we would love to start shooting weddings. We had never photographed a wedding, you guys. We had never photographed a portrait session. We had never photographed anything. I was a fine art major in college. I was an oil painter. And so we said, we would love to photograph your wedding, but I need to tell you, we've never done it. This would be experimental. We highly recommend that you go and hire somebody else to do it. But if at the end of the day, you think you would uh, love to, to do it and, and, and you, you want to take that kind of stab in the dark and see what you get, then we would love to do it. We just really under-promised so heavily. Like, Michael, we really under-promised. We were like, we're probably not going to get anything for you. Um, but here, the reality was we knew that this couple was not... Um, it was such a small wedding. They had, it was like it was a very small affair, zero budget. Uh, they weren't even going to have a video or, or a photographer at all. And so they said, "Yeah, like let's do it. We'd love to have you." That was our first wedding, and uh, and so we shot that. Uh, the next one came about uh, in the exact same way. You guys, we were like, "Look, we did one." We think it was pretty okay. We would love to do another one. And we reached out to another friend uh, and their family member was getting married. And so it just began like this. Uh, it began with uh, putting in the work first, uh, providing value first and not trying to look for a paid gig right off the bat. Now, this essentially becomes spec work, right? In the commercial industry, it's like spec work where you do the work and then uh, you're, you're trying to eventually build something but you just don't know if you actually build it, right? The problem with this is that too often, photographers, um, we, get, we get comfortable in this route of charging nothing or charging so little, and we're scared to eventually uh, turn the switch and raise your prices. And so you just, like, as you get better, you have to raise your prices, right? And so don't stay here. Don't stay at free. Don't stay at $200. Don't stay at $300 or $500. You have to level up your game. Um, so after we got our first two, uh, by just literally putting it on blast to friends, family, and social media, the second thing that we did was we went to a bridal show. Okay, we went to a bridal show with the two weddings that we uh, that we had photographed. Very little portfolio work, very little experience, but 
But at this point, you guys, when you're this early on in your career, where you have only two weddings, only one wedding, only zero weddings and some engagement shoots, and you go to a bridal fair, the thing that you do get to compete on, and I wave the white flag, Michael. I like, white flag is being waved here. I also understand this, that when, when there's another photographer who shows up at a bridal show and they're charging, you know, 900 bucks, 800 bucks, 700 bucks for a wedding, I also get it. Like, that's what you get to compete on at the bridal show, right? That's what my wife and I competed on. We did a small show in our hometown and we, we were like 750 bucks. Like, that's what we did. And we booked people. Like we book people. There's there there is a clientele out there who like that that was the price point that they had. That was the budget that they had. We knew it was crazy cheap, but we knew it was going to get work in the door. And so we did a bridal fair, and we competed on price. We were bottom of the barrel, and we knew it. We like acknowledged it, um, but we needed work. Um, the next thing is if you don't have a bridal fair that is uh, in your area or in season right now. The very real answer is after you put it on blast and you contact all your friends and your family and you blow up your phone and you text everybody you know and you put it on social media, like uh, Craigslist and Thumbtack are a great solution. Again, you guys, this is just to be clear, Michael, this is if you have zero weddings and you're trying to start out, right? Hop on Thumbtack and put some bids in. Thumbtack is a great service that really forces photographers to compete against each other to the bottom for the lowest price. But if you got nothing, then you can do that. And so on Thumbtack, you can start uh, putting out bids for weddings. And actually on Craigslist can be a great option too uh, to, to at least get your foot in the door. So I, I would say that's how you get your first, your first gig. Uh, the other kind of backdoor approach is you just start doing second shooting gigs for other photographers to gain some more experience as well. Um, so that way you can kind of enter the market with a little bit more, more experience. You could enter into a bridal show with a little bit more experience, a few more images to show. But honestly, I can only give you my perspective and I didn't do that. You guys, I did not second shoot a single wedding before I headshot one. Just to be clear, I headshot it for free. I headshot my second one for free. And then from there, we acknowledged that we were basic and we acknowledged it was like 500 bucks for a wedding. And that's what we did for the first little while. So it was back in 2012 uh, is what we were up to. That's how we got our first wedding gig, you guys. That's it. You guys like uh, this video, subscribe, like this video. We're not on, we're not on Facebook, are we? Uh, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, uh, and then drop in the comments again below another uh, photography related question that you would love my perspective on. Thank you so much for listening, for watching. Heart to heart, we'll see you on the next episode.